Hey, it's Drew Doggett. Today, we're continuing with Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Eker, a book that changed my life. I really, really like reading, <laughs> and I can't think of a better book to read than this one. So uh, we're just, I'm just gonna skim over some of the most profound things. I do believe that you should get this book yourself, um, but let's, uh, let's get with it. So let's see. Uh, an excellent story. There's a man who is walking along a cliff and all of a sudden he loses his balance, slips and falls off. Fortunately, he has the presence of mind to grab onto the ledge and he's hanging there for dear life. He hangs and hangs and finally yells out, Is there anybody up there who can help me? And there's no answer. He keeps calling and calling. Is there anybody up there who can help me? Freaking out the cat. Finally, this big bellowing voice calls back. This is God. I can help you. Just let go and trust. Bellowing. Next thing you hear. Is there anybody else up there who can help me? Uh, the lesson is simple. If you want to move to a higher level of life, you have to be willing to let go of some of your old ways of thinking and being and adopt new ones. The results will eventually speak for themselves. All right, uh, Stuart Wilde puts it this way. The key to success is to raise your own energy. When you do, people will eventually, <laughs> when you do, people will naturally be attracted to you. And when they show up, bill them. Okay, now for the section, the roots create the fruits. Okay, imagine a tree. Let's suppose this tree represents the tree of life. On this tree, there are fruits. In life, our fruits are called our results. So we look at the fruits, our results, and we don't like them. There aren't enough of them. They're too small or they don't taste good. So what do we tend to do? Most of us put even more attention and focus on the fruits, the results. But what is it that actually creates those particular fruits? It's the seeds and the roots that create those fruits. The seeds and the roots. It's what's under the ground that creates what's above the ground. It's what's invisible that creates what's visible. So what does that mean? It means that if you want to change the fruits, you will first have to change the roots. If you want to change the visible, you must first change the invisible. Of course, some say that seeing is believing. The question I have for such people is, why do you bother paying your electric bill? Although you cannot see electricity, you can certainly recognize its power and use its power. If you have any doubt as to whether it exists, just stick your finger in an electric socket and I guarantee that your doubts will quickly disappear. In my experience, what you cannot see in this world is far more powerful than anything you can see. You may or may not agree with this statement, but to the extent that you do not apply this principle to your life, you must be suffering. Why? Because you are going against the laws of nature, whereby what is under the ground creates what is above the ground, where what is invisible creates what is visible. As humans, we are a part of nature, not above it. Consequently, when we align with the laws of nature and work on our roots, our inner world, our life flows smoothly. When we don't, life gets rough. In every forest, on every farm, in every orchard on earth, it's what's under the ground that creates what's above the ground. That's why placing your attention on the fruits that you have already grown is futile. You cannot change the fruits that are already hanging on the tree. You can, however, change tomorrow's fruits. But to do so, you will have to dig below the ground and strengthen the roots. And uh, then there's a diagram of the four quadrants. Okay, one of the most important things you can ever understand is that we do not live on only one plane of existence. We live in at least four different realms at once. These four quadrants are the physical world, the mental world, the emotional world, and the spiritual world. So, what he goes on to teach is that the spiritual, mental, and emotional, 
These are our inner world, right? These are what's underground. These are the roots. Everything goes towards the physical. Every, all of this is pointed towards the physical. Here's a great example. What most people never realize is that the physical realm is merely a printout of the other three. So wrap your head around that. I'll see you in the next video. Go ahead and replay this again, listen to it again, let it sink in.